It's time for Talk of the Town on KTLO-FM, brought to you by Gail Clark, your Mountain Home Edward Jones Financial Advisor on Cardinal Drive and Highway 62 East. Talk of the Town highlights upcoming events and interesting people in the Twin Lakes area. And now here's your host. And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Sammy Raycraft. I'm excited to have with me on the phone Dana Scott from the Marion County Library. Dana, how are things going over there today? You know what? We are doing very, very well. I'm sure everybody was really excited about all the ice and the snow and oh, all boy. of that. I <laughs> Well, and if you've met me, you know that I get excited about that weird stuff because, you know, I just love the cold weather, but I'm kind of a rarity. <laughs> I, I do I do love the uh, cold weather myself from growing up up north. I, I do kind of uh-huh. miss that, but uh, did it put a damper on a lot of your activities, though? You know, we we actually missed out on two Wednesdays in a row, which was a little disappointing because our Wednesdays are our big game and loom knitting days. So we missed out on Granny's Who Game and loom knitting for for two Wednesdays in a row. But you know what? They showed up. Yes, um, sorry, they showed up this last week with a vengeance. We played wingspan and we had a great time, and we even learned some new stitches on the looms. So everybody was really excited to get back into the library. So um, even though it it kind of it hurt us a little bit, it bring it brought us back in like gangbusters last week. So we're we're pretty excited to keep on going. Um, this week coming up, we're going to have Granny Sue game again and loom knitting on Wednesday, and then the next week we're going to add that bite into books. So um, we we missed out on that as well um, because of the snow. So we're going to talk about two books on Wednesday the 2nd. So that'll be fun. And we also have game night on Wednesday the 22nd. Um, so that's where if you if you can't make it to Granny Sue game at 10 o'clock, we play some some big games at 5.30 p.m. for our game night once once a month. So that's always really a good time. We have snacks and all different kinds of things going on. Uh, for our game night. But let's not talk about just Wednesdays. Let's talk about Tuesdays, too. We've Ooh, got okay. virtual... Ga- oh, it's amazing. If you haven't checked out our website, you need to get on there at marcolibrary.org and check out our newsletter. Um, but every Tuesday, we have virtual games at 10, 1, 4 o'clock, and then 6 o'clock. And we do that all online. You can come into the library but it's all held through Discord. We have our own Discord server, and then it's through Board Game Arena or a couple other different sites that we've been using as of late, and it's all free. So all you have to do is um, get on Discord, and we'll talk you through the rest, and if you have trouble getting on Discord, that's okay, too. You just give us a call. We'll talk you through the whole mess of it, and you can just jump right on. Uh, again, you can go to our website, and it's got QR codes, so you can just hover your phone over those QR codes, and it'll take you to all of our sites. Um, we also have a YouTube channel, which is where we do a lot of programs like virtual stories for the kiddos. We also do um, loom knitting instructions. So if you're, if you're confused on how to finish off a project and that kind of thing, those, those videos are right on YouTube. We also have some game demos on YouTube. So I've, I've popped on to Board Game Arena and done a couple of videos on how to play certain games. So if you want to play those without us, which would be sad, um, we, you can just get going right there. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the teen program. We have that every day after school. Teens come in. Um, now, on Wednesdays and Thursdays, they're here like a lot. <laughs> they're coming in and they're playing Dungeons and Dragons and really? Magic the yeah. Gathering. Oh, oh wow. man, it's, okay. it's really cool. Um, so they've they've kind of branched out their little card club, um, and it's it's huge now. So we expect them every Wednesday and Thursday. So if you've never played Magic the Gathering or used Pokemon cards, all that kind of stuff, they do that every Wednesday and Thursday. But the rest of the week, we're wide open for teens to just come on in and hang out. We'll play games with you like Uno. Um, We'll even jump on um, Downforce and uh, Dice Throne and Catan. I mean, we've got all different kinds of board games in here. If you haven't been into the library in a while, we've got over 
400 board games to check out to the community. So um, we, we have a lot of fun with that. We have the programs in the library, and then you can go ahead and check them out if you want to with the library card. Last thing I want to really touch on is the Friends of the Library. We have an amazing Friends of the Li- Library group here at the Marion County and Library, and they are just awesome. But we are looking for some new members. So we've had, we've had a few people that have moved away, and we would just really, really like to see some more members of the Friends of the Library. So, and um, just feel free to hop on our website. Again, that's marcolibrary.org. And there's a Friends of the Library button that you can just click on and learn all about the Friends, or you can just give us a call at 870-449-6015. That's awesome. I want to compliment you on the uh, the teen group there that comes in, especially that Wednesday, Thursday group you're talking about. I think that's pretty important in this day and age because we keep hearing about how with young people these days it's very easy to isolate. And I can imagine in a small town, people that are interested in those kind of games, like the fantasy games and stuff, there's not a lot of places to go to even connect with people. So I think that's pretty amazing that young people are getting a chance to have community together and, and you know indulge in those things together. Oh, well, thank you so much. We, we agree with that 100%. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a big advocate for the teens and having a safe space for them to come in and just hang out. But the fact that, yeah, now that we have this big group coming in for the, um, those really cool games that, um, yeah, they don't have a spot and they've got one now. And, you know, just to touch on that gaming again, it's so great to just get a group together, whether, whatever age you are, even if you're the littles, just to be able to work out a problem together yeah, and yeah. To maybe put down those phones and turn off the TV and just have a little family night. We've got all the games to help you do that. And the uh, the online gaming, that's just not for the young folks, right? That's for anybody of all ages. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for clarifying that. That is absolutely correct. All the day on Tuesday, we really focus on the teen um, time around 4 o'clock every Thursday for that online gaming, um, but we want every age to come on in um, and join us on those virtual games at 10, 1, 4, and 6. Very cool. Well, and I was reading some research the other day that, uh, and this keeps coming out over and over again, that our parents were kind of wrong about us in the 90s and 80s, that gaming is actually good for brain development, that problem solving and all of that, that there's actually positive attributes to that. So I think it's cool that the library is supporting that. I agree 100%. Um, I, I grew up in a gaming family, so um, I never I never got that scary bit, you know, <laughs> that people thought that, you know, maybe that... Get off that Nintendo, you're the, taking too long. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, no, even that, my mom would play with me. Very cool. <laughs> so, so I grew up with that, and I think a lot of the young kids that um, now that maybe their parents are, are turning to the game, so it's it's a great thing to get that community and the family members together. Well, Dana, always great to talk to you guys over there at the Marion County Library. I'm excited to hear about the next week, uh, I mean next month when we talk again. Always so many exciting things. So that's the Marion County Library. That's in Yellville, right? We are on Main Street, and we are across from the Dollar General, a little bit catty corner behind 1883 Bank. So you'll see us back there, and, and we're, we're loud, so you just come on in. You'll find us if you just listen. Not your typical library, Marion County Library with Dana Scott. (laughs) Dana, thank you so much. I can't wait to talk to you again next month, okay? Oh, me too. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Talk of the Town, brought to you by Gail Clark, your mountain home Edward Jones financial advisor on Cardinal and Highway 62 East. To learn how she can help you reach your financial goals, stop by or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC.